Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Shockley and welcome back to my channel. If I look a little tired today, it's because my stepson graduated from high school earlier this morning, so we've all been running around and taking pictures. I'm really excited for him to begin this new journey, so um, it's going to be a little different around here not having him, but we're excited for him to start his new path. Um, I wanted to show my coral peonies today. I actually picked these up from the florist a few days ago. Um, I love the color, but they don't smell as good as the other ones, but they are very pretty. These came from the grocery store a few, couple of hours ago. Um, it was a nice surprise seeing these in there. They smell really good and were much cheaper than the ones in the florist. Today I'm going to be sharing my teapot and teacup collection. It's not really big, but most of you know that I enjoy a hot cup of tea every morning with my breakfast and I'm going to have it with some blueberries and a Panera pumpkin muffin in the morning. So that's my favorite thing. Um, like I said, it's not very big, but um, I have a few pieces here and there are a few other pieces that I like to get. Like I, I love to get some more Royal Albert um, Old Country Rose Cups to add to my collection. So. We'll go ahead and do a close-up of those right now. So the first teapot that I'm going to share is my cherry blossom teapot that my husband picked up for me from Tiavana a couple years ago. I love the gold trim and the cherry blossoms on the side. It's a very pretty set. And I use this on the weekends for my tea. This comes with four matching cups. And it's a very pretty set. The Tiavana stores here closed, I think, last year. So I don't know if this if this set is available online anymore. But you can all check online if you wish, if you're interested. The next teacup is this. My mother-in-law actually picked this up for me from the Biltmore Estates a couple years ago when she had her trip. And it actually comes with a matching box. It's a very pretty cup and very heavy and sturdy. Okay, the next teacup is my Martha Stewart Rose teacup. I actually found this at TJ Maxx, and it is also Wedgwood. So I love how big the opening is, and I normally use this in the evenings for a cup of tea. The next teacups are these. I don't know what these are called, but I got them at the flea market some a couple years ago. I actually purchased six of these and I already have a small video. Love the gold trim. These are actually soup cups that were used, I think, in the 1930s or 40s or maybe even earlier. But I love this set. I actually use one of these to put my blueberries in in the morning in the office. So. Three pretty cups. The next cup is my Royal Albert Old Country Roses pattern. This is one of the prettiest patterns that I've ever seen. And this is the only cup I have in this pattern. I love to get more cups, a teapot, and mashing plates, but it's really expensive. I actually saw the entire set at Macy's, Macy's and it was hundreds of dollars. But this is my favorite. I think I actually paid almost 30 just for this cup and tea, just for this teacup and saucer. So look how pretty that is. Very nice. The next teapot I picked up at TJ Maxx a couple of months ago. It's only $13. And I just loved all of the roses. And I use this in the mornings also. Here on the weekends. I think it says Kent Pottery. So it's a very nice and pretty teapot. The next set is another Royal Albert set. And this I found at the flea market, I think almost 10 years ago. And this is Royal Albert Bone China, England. Um, I think this is the Hawthorne 
collection or print. It has the matching saucer right here. And I only have three of these. And I've never seen this pattern anyplace else. But this is Royal Albert. And the last set that I wanted to share is my Tiffany Blue teapot that my husband picked up for me from David's Tea. I still love that gold filter. This is very heavy, so I only use it here. And this also had a matching teacup, but it does not have a saucer. It's a very pretty set. I hope you all like seeing my teacup collection. I hope I can find more of those Royal Albert teacups. That's really pretty with the matching dinner plates. That would be wonderful if I could find those. Um, I also want, wanted to share the latest teas that I have been drinking a lot of. At first, I was really into the um, chamomile and ginger tea. And for some reason, I slowly started to drift away from that. I've been drinking um, this organic dandelion leaf and root tea that I found at Fresh Time here in my city, and it's really good. And I just purchased this weekend the roasted dandelion root tea. So hopefully that will taste great, just like the original dandelion. I normally have those with a few teaspoons and honey. And also very quickly, of course, I've always got to share a shopping item or new purchase. On my Instagram, um, earlier this week, I shared this H&M Weekender that I purchased. Um, it's going to be on the blog on Monday, but um, I did see this H&M. This isn't H&M. I'm looking at the purse scarf. No, this is from Target. Sorry. Um, but I saw this in black in Target a few weeks ago and wanted to order it online, but since I've been having such horrible luck with um, online purchases, I said forget it, I'm not going to do it. And I actually found it at a different Target um, up north. So this is in gray, and it is so huge, and it is wonderful. I love it. Um, and I added the H&M purse scarf to it. That's why I had H&M on the brain, but that's okay. Um, it's very spacious. I'll unzip it here. And I've been using it as a work tote, and I keep my lunch and books that I'm reading. But look at all that room. It actually has a strap that goes with it. But um, I was going to put that on the blog for Monday. And like I said, it, it's a great tote. And I, I love totes. They're my favorite thing. But and I, I also like it with the purse scarf from H&M. But it's a great bag. So that will be on the blog on Monday. Um, of course, I want to end with a quote. I have my morning devotionals, and for the last several months, I've been reading the Enduring Classics by Billy Graham, and there was um, a section in here called Take Heart, and it says, I am not suggesting that we live anticipating trouble at every turn. Some people spend so much time worrying about what might happen that they never enjoy what is happening. Take one day at a time. Today, after all, is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. And I know I'm a really bad worry wart. And I'm really concerned about things. And sometimes I just need to relax and let the Lord take the lead. Um, so I'm trying my best to work in that area. It's not going so well, <laughs> but I'm working toward it. But I just wanted to share that with all of you because some of you may be worry warts and not. Um, taking in today and that's been a goal of mine is trying to learn how to take in today and, and release some things and let some things go and just move forward and as my husband keeps telling me count my blessings so I hope you all enjoy this video um, I hope I thank you all for continuing to watch the videos these are not easy <laughs> they're quite difficult because sometimes you can turn into a perfectionist and it, it's not a good thing so but I thank you all for watching them, and I thank you all for continuing to read 
the blog. Um, I love all the comments that I get from Kathleen, from June, from Maya, um, from Kelsey. So thank you all for um, interacting with me on my blog and for following me on Instagram. And most importantly also, hi Miss Sherry, thank for your continued support. So I'll see you all next week. Bye now.